Bo, welcome, 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 welcome to WrestleGram. This is your boy, the host, not the most, but humble. I do mean humble. D. Nostradamus, aka Derek, and I'm here, of course, on a Friday to give you, of course, the hungry, happy, healthy people. Friday night SmackDown. First and foremost, thank you so much for being a part of whatever you're watching. If you're watching it today, you're watching it tomorrow, you're watching it next week. I truly do thank you from the bottom of my heart to the depths of my loins. I truly do thank you. Without you guys, it truly wouldn't be me. Uh, only thing I want, I want to ask you a couple more things. How about that? I want to ask you a couple more things or whatnot. If you want to do anything for me, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. I'm happy that you're doing that for me. I thank you so much. Every single time I see the thumbs up, it makes me happy. If you want to do anything else for me, you want to do anything else for your boy, Dino Stranavis, go ahead. Go ahead and hit the sub button. Now, if you haven't hit the sub button yet, why? But, you know, other than that, if you have hit the sub button, thank you. Um, go and talk to other people. Tell them about the show. Get the thing really huge. Really, really huge. I'm happy that, to see those uh, those subs keep going up and up and up. If you want to do anything else for me, I'm not asking for a dime. I'm not asking for a credit card number. Go ahead. Go ahead and hit the notification bell. Okay, I do seven. Seven core shows each and every week. Each and every week, you guys. Okay? That's the cool thing about it. Um, I have a show pretty much every single day except Saturday. This Saturday, I actually do have a show because I will be uh, reviewing uh, Extreme Rules. Also, Thursday, I got two shows out. I got uh, the Prediction Show and I got the My Two Cent. Go and watch both of them or whatnot. Um, and put your comments in there. You can figure out what you want to do or not. I enjoy y'all so much. I thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. I really, really do. Now, let's get to the show. Now, um, this was the season premiere of Friday Night SmackDown. But also, this was the go-home show to Extreme Rules. Now, if I had to choose between go-home show and season premiere, I would throw away the go-home show because it's a B-rate show. I mean, you don't have a lot of people here. I would have stayed, stayed there with... The opener or whatnot, because the reason why uh, we want to make sure we're getting uh, great uh, premier people, which we got, which I can't wait to uh, talk about. Um, and also, like I said, um, Liv Morgan wasn't there. Ronda Rousey wasn't there. Um, the Tribal Chief is not fighting. The Usos aren't fighting. I mean, it's it's pretty much a really it's a, it's an underwhelming show. It's only six. Six matches on the card as of right now. So, um, I mean, what what more can I say? I mean, it looks very interesting, but the I think we were trying to give Fox the network more love today than we did the premier than a B rated show. And I can't be mad at them uh, for what they did. I think they put a lot of heart into the last episode or, or last Friday with all the extreme rules stuff as well. Of course, we did get um. Drew McIntyre and Karrion and Cross. We did get that. But other than that, that was about it. Uh, so let's talk about Let's talk about Let's start from the beginning where we got Triple H. Triple H was talking about uh, welcome to Fox. Welcome to Friday Night SmackDown. And, you know, he showed love. He's like, yeah, I'm here. Yay. You know, um, it's always good to see Triple H uh, not taking a bump and just being the boss or whatnot. After that, we get the real opener, which is the Bloodline. They come out, and of course, they are stunning, doing their thing. Great job. I am enjoying everything that the Bloodline is doing, including the Tribal Chief. Even though he's a part-timer, he is honestly the best champion on all sports uh, entertainment. All wrestling, any single show, he is the man. Hands down, un unadulterated, number one. Um... So we get Logan Paul. Logan Paul comes out, and I mean, just swift booze. What chance? I mean, you name it, they're crapping 
on Logan Paul. Now, um, what happens is we get, um, <laughs> we get, <laughs> uh, we get the wise man. We get, uh, <laughs> no oh God, it was, it was bad. It was bad. It was truly, truly, truly bad. So Paul Heyman gets on the mic. And when I tell you every time you get like Paul Heyman, MJF, CM Punk, and I mean, the Miz, when you get somebody that is really good on the mic, it makes the other person look bad. And remember, Logan Paul is supposed to be the face. But man, when I tell you, this was just the worst. Uh, he called Logan Paul, of course, this, gener uh, this generation of Cindy Lauper and Mr. T, uh, trying to uh, put more eyeballs on the product and gets more people uh, more interested in wrestling. He said this on the mic. This is not what you're supposed to say on the mic, but I mean, it is what it is. He told the truth and he was like, dude, you're going to get destroyed. I mean, I feel sorry for you, but that's, that's truly what's going to happen. Uh, he said, this is not a prediction. This is a spoiler. Uh, you're still trying to be on the island of uh, revelancy. Uh, I can't even say it. Uh, but man, it was just bad. Um, then we got more. What chance? What? Uh, what chance? We got more. Logan Paul sucks. Uh, the tribal chief gets on the mic and say, "You know what? That used to happen to me about five years ago. Until they realize that I'm the greatest wrestler of all time." Which he probably will be for one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. I'm talking about surpassing The Rock as well. Uh, in the comments, you know, hate me, but I truly think that Roman is still is probably gonna out out surpass The Rock for all of the, uh, what he's doing right now. Uh, so Logan finally gets on the mic, uh, and he is saying that uh, yeah, I'm gonna get smashed, but who am I gonna get smashed by? You, Roman, or the other Tribal Chief, Jay? And everybody goes, ooh. And, you know, Roman gets truly upset. And he looks at Jay. And he walks up towards Jay. And this is when Sammy J, Sammy J, Sammy Zane comes into the mix. And he's finally saying, hey, we are a, uh, a well-oiled machine. You are not going to put any type of that into the, in, into the, uh, the bloodline. He's like, dude. You are a number two. You called him duty. You called him boo boo. He said, You are truly, truly the number two, and we are the ones. And that was the end of that. He, uh, he actually got Roman back in his uh, his uh, mind um, uh, and, and got him back right so he wasn't truly uh, upset with the issue of hand where he was talking about, of course, uh, the calling Jay the tribal chief, which was hilarious. But um, after that, we do get our very first match of the night, which was Solo Sokoa versus Ricochet. Uh, he got uh, Ricochet got a lot of offense in this go-around, lots of suicide dives, lots of aerial defense um, to the point where Solo is truly upset and he grabs a chair and he hits it on the ground He's like, dude, I'm going to come in here and beat the crap out of you with this chair. But he realized, you know, he couldn't win like that. So he gets back in the ring, uh, gets some more offense in. But uh, eventually, that high-flying scenario that Ricochet does do got the best of him. He tried to do that 450 frog splash. Um, did not happen. He got caught, got put in the spinning solo for the win. Uh, and after that, they show uh, on the TV where Sammy saying, you know, uh, he, he's a great, he's great, he's great. Oh, my God, I'm happy that I put him under my wing. And Jay is truly upset. He's like, no, that's my brother. It's not, it's, it has nothing to do with you. I'm done. It, it is what it is. And finally, Roman finally steps up and says, dude, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, man? And Sammy telling me, you know, you're a hothead. You know, calm down, chill out. And Roman agreed with him. Roman said, dude, you are a hothead. 
I need you to chill out. Tranquilo. Tranquilo a little bit. Or whatnot. And he says, now it's not my problem anymore. It's Sammy's problem. So I'm guessing Sammy is now the supervisor of the Usos, which is pretty funny. Um, after that, they walk out of the locker room. They run into the New Day. And they talk about now Jay has two daddies now, which are Roman and now it's Sammy. And he's like, no, nah, I ain't got it. I don't know what you're talking about. So Sammy gets upset and says, you know what? Uh, we're challenging you to a match. You find anybody in the locker room and you uh, to join you, and we will face all three of y'all uh, in the ring. So that will happen pretty much later on. Uh, after that, we get, of course, Hit Row. Hit Row comes out uh, to face uh, mystery opponent. Ha I'm happy that it was not the La uh, Los Lotharios or, of course, the male, the maximum male models. They destroyed all both of those teams. But we get mystery people. Mystery people come out of nowhere uh, and attack Hit Row. Selena Vega, Selena, Selena Vega comes out and attacks as well. Um, they destroy, destroy, and when I say destroy, destroy all of Hit Row. And they all have luchador masks on, and they are very nice. They're dressed very, very, very nice. And they take the mask off, and it is the the um, Dale El Feltasmos. Uh, it is, I cannot wait. Oh, my God. Uh, just, just the greatest, one of the greatest groups in NXT. I love that group to death times 12. Uh, I love Escobar. I, I'm so happy uh, Santo Escobar and others are back. And uh, now they have a new uh, manager with, uh, of course, Lena Vega. So I'm guessing um, the really big boob lady isn't there anymore. Hmm. I don't know. But anyway, um, but, you know, uh, Selena Vega, she's very cute too. So I'm happy that they still have a female person in that group, uh, which makes a really awesome, another great uh, faction or whatnot. Factions are good. Factions are great. <laughs> so um, after that, we get uh, Sonya Deville and Zion Lee versus Raquel Rodriguez and Shanti. They have a really great intro. I love the Shanti where they shoot the the firework and it blows up on the top. Pretty cool. I didn't know Zion was still wrestling. I'm happy Zion is still there. Um, but this match was very quick to the point. Uh, we got a Tahana bomb and they both win. So I'm guessing they're going to try their hardest to you know get back you know on the scale to. Get with uh, Damage Control, EO Sky, and Dakota Kai. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, after that, we get a video package with Liv Morgan. That entire thing with Liv Morgan and, of course, Ronda Rousey. They will have a, an Extreme Rules match. That looks like that match will be uh, the main event, which I can't be mad at because that's the only one that's the Extreme Rules match. Uh, after that, we get Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross comes out with Scarlet, and before they could even talk, uh, the camera gets really close and shows um, Drew McIntyre behind him. And Drew attacks him, beating the living crap out of him. Um, we get he brings the strap as well. Uh, we get the uh, security to come and uh, break everything up, but it looks like they're helping more uh, Karrion Cross than anything. So, um, which is weird, but, um, they, they, uh, uh, Drew attacks and beats up everybody, and Karrion gets his, uh, second win, uh, grabbing the strap, uh, slamming him against the ring pole over and over again, eventually, um, uh, whipping him with the strap as well, and that was the end of that. We got Stan Tall math with that. We can math that math or whatnot. So, uh, after that, after that, we get Sammy, we get the Sammy Zayn and Usos versus New Day and Braun Strowman. So, uh, here's what's going on. I mean, it was uh, a match where they kind of singled out the New Day without getting Braun Strowman in there. And eventually, Braun Strowman did get in. 
but that wasn't even the 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 storyline of this match. The storyline was can the Uso well can Jay and can Sammy coexist? The answer is no, they cannot. Sammy try is trying his damnness to keep them together or whatnot. He is literally the glue that holds everything on the bloodline right now. And Jay is just still, he is not happy. He's still optimistic about what, uh, you know, Sammy's intentions are. But we did get a, 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 a tag by Jay to Sammy. Uh, and they do do a tag team move. And Sammy tries to give him a high five. He looks at him and walks away. Um, after that, um, they go, uh, Sammy and Jay are on the outside. They're, con they're consistently arguing, leaving Jimmy by himself to be destroyed. And uh, the New Day do a nice little stomp combination for them to win the match. Um, I mean, it was just a hot mess. It was truly a hot mess. Uh, I mean, you, I mean, uh, what more can I say? What, what more can I say about the bloodline and the storyline between Sammy and Jay not coexisting? And now Sammy is literally the manager of the Usos. So I'm guessing he is not going to manage Solo Sokoa anymore. Due to the fact that what the Tribal Chief just said. Uh, after that, we get uh, to the back where we see Maximum Male Models on the ground. And uh, the sister of of uh, Max uh, uh, Dupree, he's like, dude, that's not my name anymore. I am done with the Maximum Male Models. I'm done trying to make them into a legit tag. Now I'm solo. And now my name is L.A. Knight. From NXT, he has put his name back to L.A. Knight, destroying the Maximum Male Models thing. Well, him being the leader of Maximum Male Models. Um, after that, we get a video package of Gunther. Uh, just the, the long, the from beginning to now of Gunther and Sheamus. Uh, and after that, we get the match. We get the match itself. It was, when I say this show was a lot of them just bringing new people in, it wasn't really a lot about, um, and I keep saying this, it wasn't a lot about um, Extreme Rules. Matter of fact, they talked about, you know, uh, they actually talked more about the, the Logan Paul and uh, Roman Reigns match at Crown Jewel more than anything else, but, uh, it was a very decent match, I enjoyed the match, um, what, now, the question is, was it better than the match at SummerSlam, not by a mile, and the reason why is because we also have, they have sponsors to go to, uh, so we did get a lot of commercials, so we didn't get the full match, um, a lot of offense from both men, uh, lots of crazy chops, here's the thing about Gunther that I like, Gunther will use anything necessary that isn't a weapon, but is a weapon for the ring. And I do like that. He ripped the padding off of the metal part of the ring to bring Samish to bring, put his chest, run his chest to that metal uh, plate uh, that's supposed to be spongy. That was pretty cool. We also got uh, some really crazy of those uh, ch uh, hand uh, clubs by... Uh, Sheamus, he did 30 of them, of one for each rope. Uh, we got a beautiful white noise off the second rope by, of course, um, Sheamus. We got uh, crazy, a crazy body splash off the second uh, rope by Gunther. Uh, by the end of this match, they are both uh, sweaty, uh, battered, uh, I mean, tired beyond tired activity. Uh, we get... Uh, eventually, Imperial comes in to motivate Gunther, and then the Brawling Brutes come in to motivate themselves by beating the shit out of Imperium. Um, uh, Kaiser uh, throws the shillelagh into the ring. The ref does not see that. 
and we get a really hearty hit with the shillelagh knocking, of course, uh, Sheamus out. Sheamus was really close to winning this match. We were getting a bro kick, but we did get the shillelagh knocking him out cold and for Gunther to win the match. Uh, nobody got in the ring, but um, they will be face facing, all three will fa be facing one another in a Donnybrook match, um, which is a no-hold bar, bra uh, bar, bar match um, at Extreme Rules as well. But Gunther is still your reigning, your reigning Intercontinental Champion. Uh, so uh, Sheamus still does not get that um, Grand Slam yet. But eventually he will. I promise you will. Um, but I would like them to go away. We need somebody else trying to go for that belt. Hopefully Butch goes for it. Or Ridge Hollins. Somebody else in that group needs to go for it. So, uh, fade to black. And they are telling you, oh, tomorrow, you know, tomorrow we got Extreme Rules. Which we do have Extreme Rules tomorrow. Um, my thoughts of the show is really good. Uh, I love, uh, uh, Santo, uh, Santo, uh, Santo Escobar. I can't wait to see what they're going to do with that, fa uh, with, um, Fantasmo, uh, with that, uh, group and see what, what's going to happen. Uh, we haven't seen, uh, Selena Vega in a very long time. It's good to see her back and doing something with the company. Um, and not a lot of female exposure on this show. Um, so like I said, it wasn't a lot a flair for the go home show for Extreme Rules, and like I said, I understand. I completely understand because this is this is mostly for Fox and not you know them. You know, so I'm happy that they did that way. I'm happy for Triple H for coming out and showing his face. You know, every blue moon, and uh, that's about it, you guys. That's about it. Uh, I will also uh, be doing. Um, I'm gonna do both of. Um, Rampage and the um, Battle of the Belts today because they're back to back today, and uh, that's uh, about it. I think uh, tomorrow, make sure you're watching. You, I will do a show on Extreme Rules, and Saturday, I will be, I mean, Sunday, I will be doing, of course, of course, I will be doing uh, the Dirt Sheet Roundup. Yes, Sammy Guevara and uh, Eldrade. But until next time, I love y'all so much. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Um, well, who's, who's, who's back there? Who's back there? Okay, so we got um, Hangman and... Um, um, who is that? Um, Orange Cassidy. <laughs> Orange Cassidy. All right, so I love y'all so much. Um, until uh, the best, the truly the best is yet to come. Until next time, love, peace, and of course, and of course, of course, of course, of course, wrestling.